Time for one of these. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Bit different tonight. I quickly wanted to go over the merger or the buyout with Carlsberg and Marston's. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but the other day, I think it was yesterday, Friday the 22nd of May, for uh, 2020, 2000, fucking hell, get with it. Um, and there's a fucking fly in my beer, you little bastard. Get out of it. There you go, Lois. Um, sorry, I'm fucking rambling now, aren't I? Right, let's start again. Oh, I just, mm, fuck it up. I just want to go over the merger that's happened between. Uh, um, Carlsberg and Marston's. Now, I'll call it a merger. It's more like a, a takeover by Carlsberg of the Marston's Brewery. Now, Marston's, as you probably know, are one of the biggest brewers of ales in Britain. Um, I'll get onto their history in a minute and their pedigree. Um, but just, but just a quick word about them. They've Obviously, a lot of this stuff has happened, this merger and this takeover has happened because of the coronavirus. Now, a lot of companies are, a lot of brewing companies are struggling at the moment with you know, financial difficulties and they've had to rethink their marketing strategies and basically how they operate. And it's, it's been a testing time for everyone. So you've got to you know, take that in consideration when, you know, before you dismiss this as just a complete and utter fucking travesty I know camera are going mental about it I'll get onto them in a, in a bit as well but these are exceptional times so exceptional things are going to happen you have to take that in, into consideration when you know judging the actions of Marston's on this right okay haven't got that haven't got that out of the way let's talk a little bit about Marston's the Marston's have been going for 200 years and they're currently based in Wolverhampton, and that site has been there for, let me just get this right, I think it's 150 years. And it's the, um, it's the Chapel Ash Brewery that's based in uh, Wolverhampton. Now, if you look at the portfolio of Marston's, it doesn't make fantastic reading, to be honest. Now, there's a lot of, contract brewing that goes on at Marston's as well and they do a lot of stuff for the supermarkets I think they do what is it Lidl's I think they do the um they do the contract brewing for there and if you're going to a Lidl's and even an Aldi as well you'll see a lot of um Jennings which is one of Marston's breweries uh, you'll see quite a bit of the Witchwood stuff another Marston's um concern you'll see stuff from the Ringwood brewery again which is under the Marston's concern and you'll also see Eagle I don't know about you but I think the beers that Eagle brew are absolutely fucking terrible really are I've tried a few of theirs and I put reviews up and I, I looked at them afterwards and I just thought I can't put these up they're just rants they're just you know expletive filled rants um, and it would make for good good viewing. It might, you, some people might find it funny, but it, it just makes me look like a fucking angry little dwarf. I'm not really. Anyway, let's get back to this merger. Okay, so the breweries that Marston's own are Thwaites, Jennings, the Witchwood Brewery, Ringwood, Eagle, and of course their own stuff. Now, regardless of what your 
views on them beers are. I mean, there are some good ones among that lot. You know, the the ones in between that I could name. You know, a couple of good Thwaites beers. Jennings, probably not. Nothing that I've tried. Definitely. Uh, Witchwood, yeah, some good, some good. Uh, Ringwood, reasonably good. Eagle, no, sorry, fuck off. Um, Marston's, yeah, they do some acceptable beers that, you know, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy, but if there was nothing else I would drink. But, um, yeah, so let's get, let's get on to the actual um, merger. So what's happened is, uh, Marston's have uh, been taken over by Carlsberg, and the upshot of it all is um, Marston's have received a 40% share in this merger. What you have to remember, it's a merger stroke takeover. Carlsberg have come in, and Carlsberg are also in the UK. They're feeling the pinch a little bit. Now, a lot of their stuff, they own quite a few pubs, as Marston's do as well. Marston's, in fact, own pubs, I think there's 1,700 pubs they own, 300 are tenanted, 500 are leased. Now, I'm not 100% sure whether they're still charging rents. If they are, I think that's pretty fucking poor. I know Green King are doing that, which I think is disgusting, because if there's no money coming through the door, how are you expected to pay the rent? You know, any money that landlords have got, you know, whittled away, you know, from the meagre profits that they've made, are all just going to go back to the brewery on rent. I think it's disgusting personally, but you know, that's just my personal view. Um, yeah, as I say, Marston's owned 1,700 pubs, they own restaurants and they, and they have a hotel chain as well. I don't think I've ever stayed in a Marston's hotel and I don't think I've ever eaten in a Marston's restaurant. Whether they're classing gastro pubs as restaurants, I don't know. But that's what they've got. And Carlsberg, as you well know, they're an international corporation. I'll get onto what they do in a minute. It is fucking mind blowing, believe me, in the world of brewing, Carlsberg, what they do. And they're not even the biggest. So what you're seeing, what I'll tell you in a bit about Carlsberg, you can multiply that by X amount for AB InBev and all these other companies. But um, the merger, it's 40%, you know, as I say, it's, it's a merger, so it's it's going to be called Marston's Carlsberg, or is it Carlsberg Marston's? I don't know. It's one of the two. Carlsons Mo, Carlsons. <laughs> they should have called it Carlsons, shouldn't they? Carlsberg Marston's. That's what it's going to be called. And when you look at it, I think it's a logical merger because you know Carlsberg are renowned for their lagers and their light-coloured beers, and Marston's are renowned for their ale. So. That is a logical, for me, that is a logical, you know, regardless of your views on the on the breweries and whatnot, it's it's a logical merger, okay? Um, as I say, Marston's are, are gonna own 40%, uh, Carlsberg are gonna own 60% of this merger, okay? What that means is Marston's immediately get 273 million pound, okay? Now, whether you wanna look at that as a bailout um, personally, I don't think it is. And the reason I don't think it is, is because just before this merger, Marston's um, secured a £70 million loan. So Marston's are obviously struggling, right? Not that they'd tell you that. If you look at Marston's um, statements prior to this, they were saying, yeah, they were feeling the pinch and all that. But they just needed a, you know, they were saying that... Um, Obviously, they're suffering with the, um, you know, the pubs closing down and um, the hotels closing and the restaurants closing. But they said the supermarket trade was keeping them, you know, really busy. However, they still secured a £70 million loan. Um, and they said that was just for ongoing costs, etc. Now, read into that what you will, but that's what they've done. Then... Carlsberg have come along and they've given them 270, or well not given them, but it's that's what that merger's worth, 273 million pounds. Now, Marston's is valued at 500 million. That's their, you know, with that, what their portfolio is worth. That's including the pubs, that's including the hotels, 
and it's including the restaurants and the brewery and the brand names and the beers that's what it's worth but roughly around 500 million Carlsberg fuck knows that must be just astronomical worldwide but the UK um, as I say the UK Carlsberg was according to them they were feeling the pinch which is nothing to smirk at because a lot of these breweries are feeling the pinch due to the coronavirus I mean pubs closing down is a massive massive thing um, I don't know how Witherspoons are going to cope but who knows so let's get on to Carlsberg what do Carlsberg do? well Carlsberg are a massive corporation they own, would you believe, fi over 500 different breweries across the world. Now, I tried to list them all, and I just thought, well, there's no point. If It's just going to take up the whole time reading out all these beers or all these breweries that Carlsberg own. So what I've done is, and I don't normally do this, I don't, I don't normally you know, read notes off my phone and stuff like that, but I've had to do it because there's so many. Now I'll just read out some of the more well-known ones. Now obviously, you know Carlsberg, you know they do their Pilsner, they do the Elephant Beer, they do Special Brew, etc, etc. But they also own Chewborg, you know, Chewborg, quite well-known. Uh, Summersby Ciders, I've seen them in the supermarkets, I'm not a cider drinker, so yeah. They own Cronenberg, uh, they own Grimbergen. I've reviewed a couple of Grimbergen beers and I didn't think much of them to be honest. They own Holston, they own Baltica, which is Russian, they own Bosman, which is Polish, they own Dali beer, Chinese, uh, they own Filschlersen. Now I've reviewed a Filschlersen beer on the channel, but it's not the one that Carlsberg owned. Carlsberg owned the Swiss brewery Filschlersen, which is massive, it's the biggest brewery in Switzerland. Not the one I've reviewed, that's in East Germany, it's a very small brewery. Uh, they also own Gurkha beer in Nepal, Jakobsen, which is Scandinavian beer, uh, Lav in Serbia, um, they own a beer in Laos called Beer Lao, uh, uh, Liversk, which is in the Ukraine, Mythos, which I've reviewed on here, didn't think much of that, that wasn't great, that's uh, Greek beer. Another Greek beer, they own is Fix, they own the Hellas. Um, Fix Hellas uh, beer. I didn't think that was too bad actually. I thought that was quite good. Pan from Croatia, uh, and you know, there's other Serco, Estonia, some from Bulgaria, Shemensko, um, Superbok from Portugal is another reasonably well known one. And there's a few Chinese ones as well. And yeah, it, the list just goes on and on and on. But they're all lagers. And again, this comes back to my point about the merger being logical because Carlsberg. And they own Lovenbrow as well. I've got to mention Lovenbrow, of course. And that's brewed in the UK. They're lager. They will just be brewing lager. Now, I can see why they merged with Marston, because again, Marston's, as I say, Marston's don't really brew lager. They brew ales, light ales, IPAs, etc., etc. So that's what it is. Um, they've sort of gone against what the rivals are doing Heineken for example instead of investing in other breweries or trying to take on Heineken or another massive concern as well they've been buying up pubs and real estate which I'm no I'm no businessman but for me that is a more sound investment bricks and mortar you know the price of property will go up and down but it will never fall on its ass you know it's a it's a commodity you can sell if you're ever in the shit. You know what I mean? And this is what I'm saying about West Ham. You know, when West Ham sold their ground, they have no bricks and mortar. All they've got are the players. That is, the, that is their only, um, that is their only commodity, saleable commodity. Once the players are gone, and they're, they're fucked. And you know that that's subjective as well. When you have property, you have capital. So you know, it's always a little bit of insurance. And so Heineken are doing, in my opinion, the right thing. Carlsberg and Marston are both struggling. I can, I get the sort of merger, but whether it's the right thing to do or not, I don't know. Um, I'll get on to what what that means for us beer drinkers in a minute. Just to recap, the new company is going to be called Carlsberg Marston's. 
Uh, Marston's own 40% of it, Carlsberg 60%. Um, Carlsberg um, had basically given Marston's 273 million. Well, that's what they've got out of this merger. And their shares have gone up 90% because of this merger. Carlsberg haven't made a thing. Their shares are more or less the same. So if you've got shares in Marston, you're fucking laughing. You're getting a massive dividend. Um, I haven't got shares, don't, don't buy them, don't believe them. I think it's just fucking glorified gambling, personally. I'm not really a gambler. That, that's good news for the shareholders, yeah? They're gonna make a lot of money out of that. What does it mean for us beer drinkers? Well, this remains to be seen. Of course, you know, nobody can predict the quality of beer, whether it's gonna go up, whether it's gonna go down. Now, you can argue that Marston's beer is below par and to be honest you would have a point they do a hell of a lot or they've got in their portfolio a hell of a lot of average brewers as i mentioned before jennings and eagle really fucking average i mean if there was nothing else if it was the choice between that and and thin air i might drink jennings beer or eagle beer but you know Eagle, you know, some of their flavoured beer, it is just, it's a fucking insult, in my opinion. If you like your beer, it's just, it's just fucking insulting, you know, to, to charge people for putting that shit into a fucking bottle. Same goes for Jennings, their ale, that they, uh, they do a 3.8% ale in, in a fucking clear bottle. You know, it's probably skunk to fuck. I see it in, um, a lot of the time in Aldi's and, and Lidl's. And they have crates of it stacked up. And it, you know, it's dirt cheap. It's about, I think it's a pound a bottle or something. I wouldn't fucking touch it. I'm not going to review it on here. I know what happened. I'll open it up. Bang. Skunked. Pile of shit. Me ranting. Not going to happen. So, yeah, you, you can see why, why they're sort of struggling in this market. Ringwood ain't a bad brewery. They do some half decent ones. I don't mind them. They're a very traditional brewery. Very small concern over in Hampshire. Yeah, and I quite like them. Witchwood used to be brilliant. I really like their stuff. Hobgoblin was brilliant. Now, not so good. Their Porter, I didn't think much of it. Is it Black Witch? Didn't think much of that at all. Uh, the Golden, the Golden Ale that they do. Didn't like it at all. And you can see what, what was happening, I mean, you know, the way the artwork changed and everything, you know, they went from full colour labels to cheaper labels, you know. And I think that's probably what you're going to see with Carlsberg. Obviously, Carlsberg are the majority shareholders, so they're going to say, they're going to have the final say in anything Marston's do. You know, so there's obviously going to be bean counters there. They're going to be looking at, you know, ways of saving money. Because, you know, the pair of them are on their uppers at the moment. Well, not on their uppers, but... You know they're struggling if if they've merged you know there's going to be some i wouldn't say corner cutting but there'll be some um savings having to be made put it that way what does that mean for the supermarket stuff they're doing you know the contract brewing well can masters get any worse i you know i've as i say i tried some of the the is it the hatherwood stuff um I think that's brewed by Marston's. One of them's Shepherd Neem, one of them's Marston's. I can't remember. Thankfully, at the moment, Shepherd Neem is independent. How long that will remain, I don't know. But and Shepherd Neem are very similar to Marston's. In fact, I think they've got more pubs. They must have everywhere you go around here in Kent. They have just been buying up pubs, which again comes back to my point about Heineken. That is a sensible thing to do. If you're buying up, you know, real estate, then that is. That is saleable capital, um, but you know you've got you've got to ask yourself about the quality of the stuff. I mean, it, at best, it's mediocre from Marston's. Is it going to get worse? And this is again, this is comes back to the point I was making earlier about camera, camera not being happy about it. Camera have issued a statement and basically they've said this is going to be a big red flag. Now, if there wasn't a red flag already with Marston's then they've got a point. I think there is now. Um, is it going to put me off? Personally, no. I'm going to I'm going to try the beer. And if the beer has gone downhill, or if it's shit, as I always say, 
If the beer's shit, I'll tell you it's shit. No one's paying me, I'm completely independent, thankfully, and uh, I'm not gonna, you know, make any excuses for any beer. If Marston's a brewing shit beer, I'll tell you. If Carlsberg are brewing shit beer, <laughs> I'll tell you. And the funny thing is, usually they are. I mean, you've got, just got to look at their portfolio, with the odd exception, don't get me wrong. But you look at their portfolio and you just think it's 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 a rogues gallery of bad beer. You know, a pair of them. I mean, you know, that sounds a bit harsh, and it probably is actually, because there are some good ones in there, but you're basically looking for diamonds in a big steaming pile of dog shit. And, you know, with this merger, who knows what's going to happen. You, you have to say to yourself, the faults of the beer improving are very fucking remote. They really are. I think now it's going to be hard-nosed business rather than consumer satisfaction. You know? And it's a shame because there's some good... There's some good... Uh, there's some good beer among them, as I say. You, you know, I don't want to completely, you know, disrespect and just say, you know, everything's shit that Marston do. You know, I'll go back to Ringwood. Ringwood are quite a good brewery. I, I quite like some of the stuff they do. Not a lot of people do, but I've always liked it. Um, the Marston stuff, fucking hell. The pedigree. Didn't really like that. That old Empire IPA, fucking hell. No thanks. I should have reviewed it on here. You know, there's a lot of stuff I will not. I will try. You know, I, I've done it a few times. I've filmed it and I've watched it back, and I just thought I can't put this out. It's just, it's you know, and I, I don't give a shit about swearing, but it's just me ranting and raving about you know, charging people for money, or charging people good money for shit beer. But I'm going off topic. So. To summarise, Marston's Carlsberg is a new brewery. Everything you see now from Marston's is going to have that label of Carlsberg over the top of it as well. Um, will it improve the standard of beer? I don't think so. Remains to be seen. Um, it stopped, I think, in my opinion, it stopped Marston's from going under. Now, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's entirely up to you. But you've got to think of some of the good brands that would have went under with it. Ringwood, Witchwood, um, I won't say Jennings, but yeah, then Thwaites do a couple of half-decent ones. You know, and they've all got long, long pedigrees. I think which, apart from Witchwood. So that's, that's the conclusion you can draw. Um, money needs to be saved. Will that impact on the beer? Probably. Um, I'm probably going to avoid supermarket brand beer now that's brewed by Marston's because if it was cheap then it, it, it's going to get even cheaper now and the quality is going to go downhill. Not that it hasn't been going downhill anyway. Um, is it a good thing for the world of beer? <sighs> well, as they say, you, you, you don't appreciate what it's what you've got till it's gone. For all the the bad beer that Marsons do, there are a couple of good ones, and I'd be I'd be pretty sad to see some of them go. Um, would I be sad, sad to see Carlsberg UK go? Not particularly. There's no. There's I, I can't think of one one brand UK brand. You know, when I say I'm talking about the stuff that's brewed in the UK. Um, no, I wouldn't say there's one. Not really. If Carlsberg Lager was no longer available, would it bother me? Pfft, not in the fucking slightest. But there you go, that's the conclusions. Anyway, that's my take on the merger between Marston's and Carlsberg. If you've got any comments, stick them in the comments section. We'll get something going. And remember, beer is working class champagne.